G'day guys, Sci-Fi back again with another Sci-Fi Subscriber's Choice. And here we are. Um, due to the anticipation of the Clone Wars coming out, and another, 12, another 12 episodes, fantastic. Thank you very much, I'll take that, I want to watch it. Uh, a friend of mine on YouTube, The Forces with Jesse, uh, he made a top 10 Clone Wars figures, and I said, do you want to see mine? His are good, I like them. And he said, yeah, show them to me. So I said, cool, all right, here we are. So, of course, the one guy, one of the one guys in uh, The Clone Wars is the very big bad bounty hunter, Cad Bane. I have two versions of him here, just a normal one there, one on a bike. And I really wish that I had his little uh, droid that sneaks into places and he ends up being a bomb. Poor guy. So yeah, Toto. If you know where I can get a Toto, let me know. At the right price. Yeah, he's cool, man. I love his voice. I love his hat. He's a sneaky bastard, isn't he? I love him. And suppose he's supposed to have a showdown with Django Fett. Who knows what happens in these 12 episodes and here's another one he's pretty cool they will hopefully all stand up and behave themselves this is and i've got it all written down remember him from the clone wars this is an lr57 combat droid they were on malastare when that giant bloody creature comes up and also one of them appears as a he's enslaved and then they I think it was in season three or four. Him and a whole bunch of other robots uprise. <clears throat> so yeah, he's pretty cool. He's got a bit of movement. Not very dusty and sort of murky. He should be. Got a bit of movement. I like him. He's pretty cool. And I think he came in a three-pack with a couple other droids. I don't know. I got him loose. And is he going to stand and behave himself? Yes, he is. Good. All right, now, another droid, which is pretty damn, oh, lost his weapon. Knew that was gonna happen. And I knew that was gonna happen. No, I didn't. Um, the IG Lancer droid. There we go. Sort of like an IG-88 Assassin. Got some different sort of, more optics on his head there. Geez, I really need to get some. I need to get a different background. It's too busy. Anyway, so there he is, the IG Assassin Lancer droid. Sorry, and he comes with that very cool weapon. I like it. So I'm moving to the side. He was he was only only based on the hand drawn first original. Uh, Clone Wars hand-drawn cartoons, <coughs> not the CGI ones. And I might pick another one from the hand-drawn cartoon. There we go. Even though it's more based on the, not on the hand-drawn cartoons. I really wish I did buy some of the hand-drawn cartoon figures, which was, you know, like Obi-Wan Count Dooku, uh, Darth Sidious, very angular looking faces and all that. But this one, this is Kukruk, Jedi Master Kukruk. He is pretty, he's a pretty hard one to find if you can get him. I actually got him on the card and then he yanked it out of it, which is probably a silly thing to do. He's a great looking figure. I thought he was a whippet, but he's not. He's something else altogether. Someone... Um, schooled me on this guy, I can't remember who he is, but yeah, and he dies in the second series, season two of the Clone Wars, the hand-drawn series. He looks absolutely nothing like the hand-drawn series, but still, he looks pretty cool, he's a solid figure, he's not bad at all. I like him. And I'm pop him aside. Uh, let's see, let's go to... Some other ones, and this one I totally agree with you, Jesse. Embo, Embo, he's cool, man. 
I like this guy. Very well detailed. Look at even on his even on his soft goods there, some design. They put up some they put some really good effort and detail in this figure. He's mad. With the really cool looking crossbow. You can either hold on to or whatever. And his hands all back to the front. Ooh, how did I manage that? Anyway, I think I just jammed him in the shelf and it's got the pretty cool hat. Frisbee, whatever you want to call it. He appears as a good guy at first, or, you know, as a bounty hunter. You know, he changes sides like most mercenaries do. And then, of course, at the end of, I think it was the Lost series, Lost Season, Lost Stop, no, Season 6. He was a bad guy again, trying to shoot Anakin Skywalker and Padme and all that. Speaking of other bad guys, <laughs> or good guy, depending on which way you look at it. Mm. He's going to stand up, yes he is. Kenobi! It's just business! There you go. Hondo Tanaka. Love him. What a fantastic character. <laughs> a weak way pirate. And he drives around in a, in a flying saucer. How mental. He's cool. He's in and out of the show of uh, the Clone Wars. He also appears in Rebels. And he has a Kawaki monkey lizard on his shoulder, which is held by Blue Tech, mind you. Otherwise, I can't see him anywhere else. But yeah, he is great. I love him. You just when, when he appears, you just go, ah, oh, dear. He's going to be good or bad today. Who knows on this episode? And yeah, he's got great detail, great paintwork. Now, they didn't muck around with some of these Clone Wars figures. They really did not. They put some great paintwork. Yep, don't mind me. Sorry. And here's another one. Again, I agree with you, Jesse. Serapas. What a paintwork on that guy. Yeah, he's pretty big. He's not massive, but big hulking droid. And you can fit. That's, that is Serapas, right? That little thing there. Yep, size does not matter. So size matters not. Depends which way you look at it. So he's a hulking bounty hunter. He's nice. I like him. He also, yeah, he appears in that episode with um, Embo. But then you don't see him again, I don't think. If you do you? I don't know. I can't remember. But I guarantee he's cool. I like him. All right. Whoop. Behave yourself, guys. All right. Another... <coughs> another one here. Another... Very cool. Pretty hard to find. Figure. Kato Parasiti. That face looks familiar. Whoop. Shit. She's a changeling, or he's a changeling, or it's a changeling, whatever you want to call it. Trying to, um, yeah, just a series of other bounty hunters that try to disrupt everything. Uh, they were trying to, I think they were trying to kidnap um, Emperor Palpatine, if I remember correctly. I don't know, they also tried to do it. These guys also, try, they tried to screw everything up. That's what I remember they, yeah, they tried to do that, but yeah. Pretty cool, and don't know if it's a hard figure to get. Anyone got one? Let me know. Cool, all right, a couple of good guys at least. Uh, there we go. Yeah, one of my, again, Jesse, I agree with you, one of my favorite bounty hunters, Plo Koon. And this is in his cold weather assault gear some reason he has to wear another mask over his face. It's a pretty cool figure. Um, released pretty early on when the Clone Wars came out. Looks fantastic. Doesn't look anything like Plo Koon. And I really dig Plo Koon because... I oh know, he's pretty clever. He solves problems. Doesn't just discuss issues. Yeah, I think it was in the first series he... He um, helped Anakin Skywalker and... Akasha Tanu in some pretty serious problems. 
There we go, nice figures. One more, one more I think, yep. Ugh. This one was only released fairly recently, or you know, is in like, well, this is probably the last figure I actually picked up from the Clone Wars series, which was um, the Jedi Temple Guard. Very solid figure, um, very cool figure. Five points of articulation, who cares? Check out the detail, here's the yellow double-bladed lightsaber and all these keys attached to them, you know, here's the keys to all. Has access to everywhere. Great looking helmet, cloak, and supposedly he is also a pretty hard one to find. Yeah, so there we go, that's about it. I think that's 10, I'm not counting. Um, probably more, probably less, whatever. Anyway, these are great figures. I love them. I've got to stack more of these clone figures, but... Anyways, um, I had a couple of wish lists um, that I wanted to do. Would like, also, like for clones. Um, also, did you notice there's no clone troopers? That's another list on its own. Yeah, so the two figures I'd love to get are... Uh, is uh, Commander Trench. I have nothing that absolutely looks like that guy. He's that giant tarantula looking dude. Um, and he'd be a fantastic figure if they ever make him. They probably won't, but it'd be lovely if they did. Uh, and also Jedi Master Pon Krell. Now, I have a version sort of of him. I guess if I can get another one of these guys. Dexter Jester. Dax, Obi-Wan, old buddy, no guy, yeah, get one of him, some tan paint, some fabric, and a couple of pretty heavy lightsabers, and I can make a Jedi Master Pond Krill, we all know what he did, and what happened to him, yeah, that'd be cool, alright, so there you go, can't put him on my top 10 list, he's not from the Clone Wars, that one wasn't anyway, so there we go, I'll rab along, but no, nah, I'm going to cut myself short. Alright guys, that's 10, I think, whatever. But that's just some of the ones that are distinctly from the Clone Wars. Jess, I hope you liked. Um, hope to put up some new videos soon. I have got another subscriber's choice, number 103, by the guy, my good, my good mate, uh... Gaz, Mega Gaz P, who won my 500 subscribers choice. I will do that. That'll be Terminator, not Star Wars. But anyways, Terminator's just as cool as Star Wars, if you ask me. And I'll show all them off a bit later on. All right, Jess, hope you enjoyed. Um, liking your videos. If you don't know who The Forces with Jesse is, just you'll leave a comment down below. Just click on his little icon, because I can't link. All done on the phone, this is. All right, guys, hitting the 40-minute mark. It's a long video. I really hope you liked. I hope you can find these. Let me know. I'll see you all then. The Force is with you. Always.